Hello YouTube, it's your boy Vintage Sterling Finds. In today's video, we're going to talk about old mechanical watches and a little trick to get them started. Now, on the bench we have four vintage Timex watches. These watches are all fully wound and do not run. Now, traditionally you have to take the entire watch apart, clean it in a watch cleaning machine, um, oil it, put it back together. With these older Timex watches, that's really not an option. They're held together the entire movement by three screws. And these gears are almost like paper thin. So, a little trick that we can get by this is in the old Timex manuals, they said to throw the movement in with lighter fluid, joshle it around for a couple minutes, then dry it and it should work. Now, um... Today we're going to use rubbing alcohol. Um, this is 70. This is the minimum. I would recommend 90 or 99. This is the only thing they had at the store, unfortunately. We have a little glass jar. Just going to take a little bit. Pour a little glass. Just a little bit, you know, not too much. Nothing too much. Now I've already opened this case, case just comes out. A lot of people take off the dial. I'm not going to risk it because these dials, they're held on by um just these tabs. And I don't want to be messing with this. These, this is so thin. It may take off some of the um paint, but I'm willing to take that risk. I like to use tweezers, just an old pair of busted up tweezers. We just take our little jar straight in. I like to joshle it around. And I'm going to let that sit for about five minutes. So in a couple minutes, I'm going to come back. Okay, so it's been roughly five minutes. As you can see, we put another watch in here. I'm just going to take it. Knock off any debris. Give it a good shake. Put it on the rag. There. This guy, same thing. Just nice. Little shake. Now when they're on the paper towel, I just like to take them. Remember, we don't want to mess with the hands, but I like to get all that alcohol off the dial. Because these dials are painted, we don't want to strip away the paint. So I just like to just dap, damp, pat them dry. Same thing with this one. Just pat them dry. Then I usually leave them like this for maybe half an hour. Then you're going to come back. All the rubbing alcohol is going to be gone. Then we go to the next step. In the meantime, we're going to move on to the other watches. So we're back. We let those sit for half hour. But as you can see, a lot of junk in the um, alcohol. So these watches were dirty. Now um, to start, this little guy is running like a hot dam. Started running, won't stop, running well. Um, This one's probably my favorite, the older Timex. And as you can see, it wants to run, but it ran, then it stopped. It ran, then it stopped. So what we're going to do with that guy is we're just going to take a little bit of oil. Now this oil was like $10. It wasn't that much. comes with the three picks. We're just going to take a little bit of oil. I don't know if you can hear that, but the watch is does have a tick. So I just like to put a little bit of oil... 
there we go. All we're going to do. And you can even see this mainspring. Now, I don't know where to oil this. We're just going to take a guess. I know these are $40, $50 watches. I wouldn't do this with a Rolex, obviously. But we're just having fun in this channel. So that's running now. So we can put that to the side. This guy, a little bit of a funny story. I fully wound it. Wouldn't run. Once the video was over in the last part, I picked it up and it was running. It ran for like three seconds, stopped. Shook it, another couple seconds, stop. Now it's just coming back to life again. So let's do the same thing. We put a little bit of oil. And it's hard because these watches have zero jewels. Jewels are those synthetic rubies that they, they help reduce almost frictionless. So that's why we hear these watches tick, 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 because it's metal on metal. See, I honestly trying to do the best here. You see, this guy's ticking away now. Maybe we'll get lucky. This guy wanted to run. Maybe after a couple minutes it will. Now, it's the blue guy. I haven't been able to get this watch to run at all. Because what we can do is just give it a little bit of a f little trick just to give it a little bit of a start. And it does not much is happening, but that's not a big deal. We have our watch oil. Let's put a little bit of oil. And just anywhere that it looks like there's moving parts, little divots. I just come and put a little bit of oil. Not a lot, just a little. A little bit goes a long way. And that should be good. So let's see if this watch will start after that little bit of work. Eh. And that's for the reason why I did four, not one. Because if we do one and it doesn't work, this video is a waste. So that's why we did four. So hopefully we get one working for a better video. So let's stop for half an hour. I'll come back. And I'll show you if the watches still work or what's going on. So it's been about an hour, give or take a bit. This watch is working. This watch is working. You can hear them ticking away. And this watch is working. This one has the second hand so you can see it. However, this watch, I cannot get working. So what I could do is repeat the process maybe leave it in for five six more minutes bring it out let it dry put some oil maybe it'll run i'm seeing no major issues in the movement everything appears fine so um that's what i'll probably end up doing that wraps up the video we got three out of four not a bad result if you like the video please comment um, thumbs up, subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. Any more suggestions, comments, please let me know. Thanks. Have a good one.